rivalries by their very nature are special because you're playing a game against someone that you want to beat desperately. The series started in 1884. And they've played 118 consecutive years of football against one another. They're within 20 miles of each other. They just don't care for each other when they step out on the football field. You could think of a bunch of different robberies throughout this country that have dissipated. This one has persevered for 150 meetings through the Depression, through the through the World War I, through World War II, through Vietnam, through all the crises we've had around it, the JFK assassination, all the stuff that has gone on in this world, this game somehow managed to get played. And it, there's a comfort in that. Great opportunity, men. Great opportunity here. We have uh, two goals every year uh, when the season begins. And one is to beat Lafayette, and the other one is to win a Patriot League championship. And it's, it's that important. Cheerios, Wheaties, what'd you eat today, man? Captain Crunch, probably, right? Captain, Captain Crunch. These two places and the game that we'll play at the end of November, I think, is uh, really what college football is all about. This game is about school pride and school spirit, regardless of whether you're an athletic fan uh, or not. Both schools can enter the game with no wins. It would still be a significant event. It's a bowl-like atmosphere. The entire week leading up to the game is crazy every year, no matter what. This game is really a make-or-break season every year. You know, you could be having a down year, and you know, you, you go out there and, and win this game, then whole year turns around. Welcome back to the happy hour. ESPN Radio, the Lehigh Valley, 1230 and 1320. Tom Fallon here, and finally, Lehigh Lafayette, game number 150. They don't have the craziness of Alabama-Auburn. I mean, I think down there, it's, 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 a, it's a religion. Do they have guys from these schools that go on to the NFL? Yeah, a couple of them. There's a few guys bouncing around out there on practice squads or, or, or get a shot in the NFL. But let's face it, for the most part, usually, unless they're making it to the playoffs, this is the last game these guys are going to play. Obviously, it's the most played rivalry uh, in college football history. I mean, in my four years here, I've seen how, how many people care about this rivalry and how many people come back to, to witness it. The whole Lehigh Valley really gets involved in it. If I'm out around, you know, campus or off campus, you know, people come up to me, you better beat Lafayette this year. It's just massive, the, the impact it has on the community. Uh, all the people coming in from wherever, alumni, and people coming together to watch the game, stuff like that. It's just, it's a really big deal for the community. Joe Starr, the athletic director over at Lehigh, and I first started talking about this whole event, the 150th meeting, about four and a half years ago. So we started talking about what neat venues might there be. And kind of the dream piece was, what about Yankee Stadium? When I heard Yankee Stadium, I was very excited. You know, I'm a, obviously a baseball fan, and I think everybody who's a sports fan knows the, the history of Yankee Stadium. And, and to be in that iconic uh, a venue, you know, for this game, I think is really very fitting. The fact that I heard that they're expecting a crowd probably bigger than the Notre Dame Rutgers pinstripe bowl. That says it all right there. When you have more people interested in this Lehigh Lafayette game than that, that says an awful lot. I think anybody that tells you they expected 30,000 tickets to be sold in the first 10 days would be lying. Uh, I think there was apprehension when that contract was signed. I mean, that was a huge risk to take. And the fact that the ticket sales are now up over 45,000 tickets has uh, made it the momentous occasion that it should be. People are treating it like it's a once in a lifetime event. Uh, I think it works only as a once in a lifetime event. To have uh, the stage of uh, probably the world's most famous ballpark, to call that home for one day, to bring all these people from Easton and Bethlehem, from the Lehigh Valley, from across this country, to the Bronx, across the George Washington Bridge that day, is gonna be something very, very special. Yeah.